All right, let's talk about this. So they, they play exotic and we are going to talk about positioning. Same thing because this exotic was killing everyone. So we're going to look at positioning. That's one. And we're also going to look at our engagers once again. And this was very badly played. Even worse than well, actually. So you want to the diva. I want to lose you. The first thing we're going to look at is engage. Okay. The first thing uh, a Hammond should look it should know is what they have. So if they have a McCree, if they have a Brigitta, the way you engage has to change. So there are a couple of ways that uh, a Hammond can engage. If you, I did my research on this, and if let's say there's a pillar over here, right? I'm going to talk about the engage of Hammond. There's a pillar over here, and there's a Hammond over here. Uh, it, it feels like all power drivers are the same, right? You just hook, you go above them, and you power drive it out. But it's that's there are difference. There are differences because the further away you power driver, so let's say there are two pillars over here, and then enemies over here. If you power driver on this one, your lateral movement is a lot less. So what I mean is this: if you power drive on this, what happens is let's say you swing, right? Let's let's use a different color. You swing, shoo, you you swing like pendulum. You end up like that, and you power driver down. Right, you power driver down, and then you hit. You, let's say, let's say this is, this is the enemy. The enemy is here. Enemy is here, and then you power driver down. You hit the enemy. This kind of power driver is really bad if they have a Macri and a Brigitte, because you could get whip shot in the air. You could you could get a CC in the air, or you could get hacked in the air. So the kind of power driver we want, the kind of power driver we are looking to do, is when you power driver further away from the, from the, from the furthest pillar. So let's say you power driver from here. So what if you power drive from here? Let's let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. If you power. Oh shit! My fucking pillar. Actually, I can just. Yeah. And I'll just erase this. And we'll still have that red color cross. So if you power drive from here, if you power drive from here, what happens is, if you let go of here, you have a moment where you travel laterally like that, because you are using momentum, right? So when you let go of your hook, you travel a little bit like that, and then you fall, and then you power drive. This is the kind we want because we want the, 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 the hamster ball to we want to start our power driver from the furthest pillar so it's safer. We don't want to start the power driver so if the enemy is here we don't want to start the power driver on the pillar here. We want to start the power driver over here because it it most of our swing is in a safer position. Well if we power driver here, there's a chance that they can stop us right here. So what I'm let's 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 look at what I'm talking about because that that happened in the first engage. I can stop the hack. Yeah. Huh? I got the hack. Nice. Okay, look at Mooney power driver and you compare it with how mini power. They have Diva. I'm not gonna put this on the break. They're doing business. They're doing business. They're doing business. So you see, uh, Mooney Mooney power driver is a very greedy power. Ah, uh, sorry, Mooney hook and power driver is a very greedy hook and power driver because his trajectory is gonna push through them. Swing up in the air, swing up in the air, so he's gonna look look like it, and it's gonna power driver. So he's gonna get the boop. He's trying to get the boop. Mooney's trying to get the boop from his, uh, his his hook right. When he speeds up, he hits everyone for fifty damage, and he's trying to get the power driver, which is hundred damage. But is that wise when they have a brick and a doom fist that both of which can stop this? So what happens is this. He gets cancelled, Mini goes in. Mini goes in now. And look at how he does it. Okay, for him, Mini is doing the same thing as what uh, Muni did. So you can see he actually knocked Muni off the cliff. But the thing is, we don't have a Brigitta. We don't have a Doomfist, which means that it's very hard to stop this ball. So this greedy ball goes through because we don't have the, the tools required. So how, which pillar you start from is actually really, really important. And it goes back to mechanics of a hammer. See, see, Mini, Mini actually managed to get what Muni was trying to do. He knocks, he knocks Muni off with his initial speed boost hook, and then he power drivers the team. Doom no, no, cool dance, Doom. They're coming in. Can see he knocks him off? Then he got, he gets the power driver as well. He's trying to heal you, can I? I'm shooting the diva. Yeah. One. I'm hacked, I'm hacked. Is that, 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 in uh, in God's combat is the brick right and the Zaya because not only are they dangerous more dangerous than Ryan because Ryan has no CC and Ryan doesn't have that much damage compared to a, 
it doesn't have CC like a brick and it doesn't like shield bash and it doesn't have a uh, damage like a star. So we don't really aim the right and plus it runs the tankiest and the goats comp. But in this comp here, in this comp here, do we really want to aim the brick when there's a Doomfist in our backline? Remember, a Doomfist is more dangerous than a Reaper. It's a rich man's Reaper. It's what the pro players play and the, the, the lousy players in, in, in Bronze and Zero, they play they play Reaper because they can't play Doomfist. But Doomfist is way better than Reaper when it comes to assassinating backlines, when it comes to dealing this huge bunch of explosive damage. So, uh, when you, imagine Doomfist as a Widowmaker or as a Reaper. And if the Doomfist is in your backline, in the midst of your team, the target shouldn't be Brigitta, it should be Doomfist. I'm gonna die. They're chasing me hard. I'm on this ball. <laughs> See, right here it should be exotic. 1-1-2. One, one, if all of you guys go for Doomfist right here, he dies. One rocket kills him. Uh, Tomo shooting like 60-70 damage kills him. Mooney turning to him kills him. There's still one on me! Break, 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 break. See, you guys are calling break where it really should be exotic. Break, break, break. Break, break. So right now in this whole fight, what happens is look at Doom HP. He, he went up to 180 because uh, they are healing him, right? So Flobos is hitting the E on him, Floro is amping heals, and everything is going to Exotic because Exotic is supposed to carry the game. So if you guys don't aim down Exotic, then yeah, Exotic is just going to beat the shit out of everyone. Even if it's not Exotic, even if it's just some random no-name Doomfist, it should be Doomfist first. Oh, is that oh, one? Right. Yeah, I'm going to die. They're chasing me hard. I'm on this ball. So Doomfist, Doomfist, it should be aiming Doomfist now. Bomber's out. There's still one on me! Break, 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 break! Drop break, drop break! On the Doom, Doom, Doom high ground, super low. See, Pang was aiming Doom. Pang, Pang knew what's going on. Doom, Doom very low. Doom. One! Alright, at least you guys killed Doom, so that's good. Well, okay. Might be reasonable. Follow me, follow me! Follow me! Order it. I'm on you, we got the right! Okay, aim Pang! Pressure, pressure. Stay close, like high ground. Okay, so you guys managed to kill Doom. I thought you guys didn't, because the targeting was a little bit slow, so inefficient, but in the end, you guys did manage to transit to targeting the Doomfist, right? So here, from this onwards, uh, the person that's really making a lot of mistakes right now, that I want to focus on, I don't really like blaming a single person, because like I said, it's a team thing, right? And and yeah, and, and in, in the whole script, if you don't do well, I'll, I'll talk about the team, and, and everyone has something to improve in. But in this case, Molly made two... Molly, Molly got picked first twice and this is very severe because we shouldn't be letting up double first picks we should in two separate team fights if you get picked first then there's obviously something you're doing wrong especially if they're not going for you so for example right here Muni is pushing out here Thermo is flanking here and I don't know where the Diva is but uh, Diva is over here so where should Lucio be playing? Lucio should be playing to the left of Diva or to the right of Diva like like so, there, there is a, you could play on the, 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 the other side. Wait, let me try to find. Yeah, so where Muni, Lucio shouldn't def should definitely not be playing anything above beyond this line here. So what I said, what, what I'm trying to say is, Muni could, uh, Lucio could be playing like here. So our Winston is over here, our Tomo uh, is flanking over here, Diva is playing, oh shit, this is wrong. Is it? Let me check. Yeah, okay. So Mooney is playing over here, Diva is playing over here, Tomo is playing... What? On the flanks? Yeah, Tomo is playing over here. So, uh, and I think the, the bulk of our team is playing over here because, yeah, Tomo is a flanker, so it's alright if he plays there. And I think Yuki is probably playing on the left or something. So our Lucio should be playing round inside the power, inside the, infl the sphere of influence from our team. Lucio definitely shouldn't be pushing up to here. And that's what Molly did. And it's way too aggressive. You need to know, you are still, while I did say you should play more aggressive and go for Widow and blah 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 blah, uh, there is no Widow here. There's only two characters that can kill you very easily. Sombra with the heck and Doomfist because Doomfist is Doomfist, right? And you om you should never push this character. You should play more opportunistically. So you could you could shoot this character. You could go in for the character, but not until they burn their cooldowns or they are distracted with something else. So we yeah, shouldn't be doing down. like like this. Like what? What is this? What is this? This is just over extension sending, dude. Four attack. Ready, 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 ready. What did they use? Am I retarded? I think they're being busy. They, oh, used, they, used, they just used yeah, it. They just used it. They're doing quite really close. Like you can't, you can't do this. I, I know you, you're not. I know you don't know the Sombra was there, but you have to imagine you don't. If you don't know where the Sombra is, you have to know that they, they, he could be anywhere. How, like you're playing right in front of Muni right now. So if Muni's playing over here, right? 
You are literally in front of Muni right now. And what happens is you are pulling a lot of resources. Even if you survive that, you are pulling resources from Cantus because he has to pocket you. You are pulling resources from Punk who has to use his shift and his DM to get to you. And for what purpose? Because if they protect you, we should be getting something out of it, right? Like for example, if uh, if Genji goes here, what and we put resources on Genji, like we pocket the Genji, Diva flies to help Genji. The influence is that we are trying to kill the Doomfist because. Yeah, Genji is trying to do what the Doofus. We're helping the Genji to kill the Doofus. Right now, we're helping the Lucio to kill the Doofus. Lucio is not going to do that, that much damage to Exotic. Look at that. Even when you go for Ex Exotic or Nox, none of them drop any HP. But if it was Genji, it might have been a different story. And even then, I would still rather Genji not fight the Doofus one on one. I would rather Genji play a little bit more opportunistically and go for Pokes. Oh, Barrage, ready? Oh, wait. Okay, this barrage is alright. This barrage is not too bad. But the thing is, remember, Punk already. It's not Yuki's fault. It's just that Punk already uses his DM. So, you see, if you pull too much resources, you're actually screwing up the rest of the team because, yeah, not enough resources can be going uh, going to the people that actually want to do some, Like, actually wants to use their ultimate. Team player, team player. Team player. Team player. They have no heals right now. Both one. Both that tanks for one HP. Yeah, yeah. Come the point if you can, many. Fuck five HP. Come to. This is the kind of time that you can go for the Doofus if you want. This is this is the kind of time. He used up all his cooldowns. He has five HP. If you want to push him here, it's an ideal risk, right? And especially Muni is pushing more forward, so you can literally push Doofus here. Not not when Doofus has full HP and you don't know where the Sombra is. Come the point if you can, Manny. We come back to shift. I am oh, 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 All right. So where should Lucio be positioned here? Everyone is around the point, right? So where should Lucio be positioned? Once again, everyone the control of the area is like that. Lucio should be positioned around here. Should be positioned maybe around here. At best, at best, right? You know, anything actually here is the best already. That these are the best position. If your Winston is over here, your Diva is over here, you really shouldn't be positioned in the point itself. This is way too open. Now. Like I said, you should play outside the point. You should play outside the point and move in and out, move in and out because we want to control this area. This is high ground. So by controlling this amount of area over here, we actually have the advantage. And the people that should never be in the point are the DPS like Macri. Uh, even Tracer, Tracer should play on the outside of the point and only goes in and only go in if let's say there's no more DPS because you want you want to have like visual resources of everything and even the Zen and of course the Lucio and the Mercy you really don't want to play in the point because you play in the point everyone can see you and you can't really see them. And you're gonna die here right before you even sub barrel. So the you die yeah yeah yo you're not the first one to get picked but this was. Punk was the first one to get picked, but it's pretty close, and you you you, you try to use some pair, and you, you lost the some pair doing this. Point. The MP when they come to point. Oh, one, 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 one. So back to back two times, uh, yeah. Okay, you you guys called monkey, 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 right? But it really should be the doom face that you guys focus on first. Right, so the priority should be Winston bubble. If do if Winston and Doomfist goes in, the priority should be Winston bubble, then Doomfist straight away. So here it should be Doomfist, 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 and one hits Doomfist. Because if you guys don't hit Doomfist, Doomfist is gonna go around rampaging like crazy. Imagine there's a Widowmaker or Reaper going around, right? Do you shoot a Widowmaker? Do you shoot a Reaper when he's at the backline? Yes, right. Because a a Reaper can't just walk walls wherever he wants. A Reaper is a top priority. So why isn't Reaper a top priority? So why isn't Doomfist a top priority here? He has to be. In fact, I believe I was uh, talking to you guys on, on voice chat. I keep telling you guys to focus down on exotic, right? And like you guys were, but he was like the second most important thing, third most important thing in your books, where he really should be the, the most important thing, full stop in your book. Dude, he killed the Lucio, he killed. I think Punk was it? And then he almost killed Punk again. He literally he's the only one on fire guys. He's the, literally the only guy actually doing something. Not the Winston. Not the Brigitte. Boom! Candace died. That's the his fourth kill, I think, in two fights? Or was it fifth? One, two, three. How many people did he kill? So he killed. Oh, 
Okay, he he, he demag punk because it. I'm gonna turn off the volume here. He demag punk because he chased punk around, killed punk. So mm, he killed, got the demag, killed punk, gets the health. That's that's one kill right there. Goes for Molly, killed Molly. So not only did he demag punk, which was bad enough, he also killed punk. Then he went for Lucio, killed the Lucio. Then he went for Thermo, killed Thermo, at, and Thermo had a lot of HP. He had six. 64% HP, so more than half HP. Then he deal a lot of damage to Mooney, 40% damage to Mooney. So that's one, two, three, four, 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 four fights where he dealt more than a third of the people's health. Then he went for for Yuki. Okay, you, he didn't do too much on Yuki. Yuki was mostly Nox. So he went for Pang again. Uh, Pang almost demag Pang. Almost that was huge amount of damage on Pang. So went for Cantus, killed Cantus. That's the fifth. So he killed five people. All in all. Five people where he dealt more than thirty percent of their health, and most of them he, he dealt the whole thing. Then he killed Molly, so that's six, right? And uh, throughout all this whole thing, we really just didn't we didn't focus him all the way. He staggered us the whole way. So this is finally the first fight where we go for exotic exotic first. This is literally the first fight we look for exotic and started hitting exotic. And look, we won. We're ready now. Play back, please. off. We are, we are not aiming exotic like as the second person or the third person. This is the first person we are going for. Please spam from point. Yeah. Ready? Do one. Do get the the mega. Do one. Dying. Thank you. Break. 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 So we win easily. Call the cycle team, man. We'll dive it. I'm just going. They win. They win. They win. All right. They have a widow, right? So this means that Yuki cannot use his rocket barrage. Uh, anytime he wants, he cannot go for an engaged rocket barrage unless he's very sure that exotic can't see him. In fact, it would be better if you play uh, Farah like a junk rat right now. Like play it as like a like you put pressure and that's all you do. You don't really go for the close up engage. You just put pressure from off angles. You can dive through. He's coming to me. Hug me. I'm running. All right, we got a kill. So right now we just need to. We just need to make sure we, we we keep track of where the widow is because the widow is the only one here that can continue to make picks right the rest are not dangerous they don't have a dps anymore so make sure widow can't get those picks play safe play aggressively but away from the widow sideline and you guys should win yuki right here should just look to uh get off long range rockets here and make sure you know where exotic is at all times yeah, why, why are we outing here like why are we rocking bro you know that as a widow you don't know where the widow is the widow could be right here could be on top of there and it could be that the moment you press the rocket barrage you die you die straight away you have no information whatsoever so the rocket barrage shouldn't be happening here there we go and honestly it's a lucio so it's not even worth it lives off the map they still have widow man there he is yeah yeah i'm going up again i'm dead to the widow yeah widow died 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 yeah we lost it here all right